Our next step is to add highlights and shadows to our robot. This is going to make our robot um, appear 3D and it's going to take our shapes and turn them into forms. What I would like for you to do, I would like for you to imagine that you have a flashlight and you are shining your flashlight towards one side of your robot. The side that the light is hitting will be your highlight and the side that is away from the light will be your shadow. So I would like for you to go ahead and decide first which way your flashlight is pointing to your robot and we're going to do the shadows first. I'm going to pretend like I'm shining a flashlight from this direction over here on the right. So I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to get a little bit of black paint on it. We're using the black puck paint because it works a little bit better for shadows instead of our liquid paint. So if my light is coming from this direction, that means all of my shadows are on this side of my robot. So I'm just going to begin by just painting some shadow lines down the sides, just dragging my brush down. And I'm going to do that on each and every part. I'm going to go down the neck. Helps if you get your black paint a little wet so that it's kind of thin. And then I'm going to do a shadow along his body just to one side. And I'm just going to continue painting shadows all along the sides of my robot that I feel like would have the shadow. And after this, we'll go ahead and add highlights. Now that we've got shadows all over our robot, we're gonna go ahead and go back and add highlights. We're gonna use the white liquid paint. There's a little bit over in your tray because it's thicker and it will show up a little bit better for our highlights. So we're gonna use the same process. Again, we're pretending like we're pointing a flashlight on one side of our robot and wherever we think the light is hitting, that's where we're gonna have highlights and on the opposite side, we've already got our shadows. So I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down with a little white paint and I'm just gonna paint some highlights on my robot. Now we have a robot that no longer looks flat. He looks more three-dimensional because he has highlights and shadows, which has turned the shapes we used into forms. Now, after all of this is dry, we're gonna get busy adding some final details so that our robot really comes to life. 